If you're a cat, uh, I'm gonna play a forest and pass. A uh, uh, very pretty forest, I noticed. Yeah, I will um, play. I'm actually I I was working on uh, reacquiring all of these for all of my commander decks, and <sighs> and then Monday happened. It's just so expensive. Yeah. I did that for my Moldrosa deck, and it, it just costs so much for lands. God, I just buy the foils from the like s the normal sets, not even the full art, and that's expensive because it's like a lot of them are like two, three dollars a pop, and it's like just buying like twenty cards at two dollars is. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, I bought. Uh, I think it was 97 basics when Un Lanowar uh, Waste came out and bought like it was like Altar of the Breed. Um, Very nice. Pass the turn. So I'm the first one to cast. It's one of my ways to win the game, actually. All right. Same here. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna play this chorus. I'm gonna play this altered soul ring. Nice. Seth, Seth, remember back in the day, um, and when, cast Farsi. Remember back in the day for uh, 3DH, how hated milling was in 3DH. Right, like it's just you just put some cards in the graveyard. It's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, like that was. I remember so many people were like, "Can we just ban mill in 3DH?" Because like all of the mill cards in 3DH were so in in that format were so cheap. Yeah, and it was like. Because no one plays Mill on Moto. Yeah. So it was just like, you got all of the good Mill cards. And people were like, oh, screw this. And it's like, yeah. I'm waiting to cast uh, the. Uh, I'm going to get a. Go ahead. Actually, I'm waiting uh, to cast the, uh, the kicker uh, traumatize. Oh, man. Cacophony. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm waiting for that. As Can someone I... who built a mill deck, I actually not a fan of that card. I have it I'm in my uh, it. yeah. I have it in my Verzal 3DH deck. It, that's not a mill deck, but I just, like the kicker that like. So I am it. actually in the process of building a new deck, and talking about kicker spells that like just win the game. Um, I realized a combination of two cards is very very broken. Um, if I can find what I did with the uh, other... Ah, here it is. It's in this stack. Um, I was going to say, I'm building a new commander deck. It is Vito, Thorn of the Dusk Rose, and Blood Tribute. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Kick Blood Tribute with Vito? <laughs> <laughs> that's how you... That's called the Death Laser. Like... Whose turn is it, by the way? It's Carter. Oh, it is mine. Yeah. I didn't notice I had that little marker thing. I should have yeah. paid attention to that. <laughs> but um, I saw, I, I was going through my cards, I saw that combo, and I was like, oof, I'm going to laser someone. <laughs> One day, six mana, six mana, tap my commander, bang, bang, you lose. Power conduit. I'll pass. What card? Uh, power conduit. So it says tap, oh. remove a counter from a permanent you control. Choose one, put a charge counter on target at artifact, or a plus one plus one counter on target creature. That can't possibly be a combo card in some way. Yeah. Uh, this is actually like I run like astral cornucopia, and this is like charge counter. Uh, like nine lives. Try. Like, can you? I don't have nine lives oh, in this. So. I uh, cast an arcane signet. And you're good to go, Sam. All right, it's my turn. I got the circle. I got it. <laughs> Untap, draw her turn. Oh, that's a bad card to draw. There are no bad cards in Magic. No, that was a really bad card to draw. Um, play Tranquil Thicket Tapped. Was that the card? Uh, mill. Everyone mills. Yeah, everyone mills one. Ones. Anguish, don't God, make that's it. such a bad card to draw. I'm gonna tell y'all what I just drew. Bridge from below. <laughs> 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 y'all are like, 
Y'all are like, ha 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 ha. No, it's the worst card to draw in the history of Magic. Uh, Llanowar wastes tapping colorless uh, basic land cycling Ash Barons for a basic. And then we will, um, we're going to get a swamp and pass the turn. Uh, I'm going to play this command tower. God, that was so bad. Uh, I'm going to cast Tenrith, the return king. Sounds good. Uh, I'm going to use Tenrith plus one to get... Uh, to have him get off the, the chair. Trample and haste. And I'm going to attack Seth for five. Yeah. Oof. Off the chair? That's what you call it? Yes. Fair and enough. And I'm done after that. Yeah, no. The, so one of the reasons I'm building Vito Thorn, though, is because I opened the, uh, what is it? The uh, enchantment that combos with it. Uh, in my pack of when I opened my box of um, Jumpstart, uh, Exquisite Blood. Yeah. And then I was like, "Yeah, why not? Let's just build this deck." And then I was like, "How do you build this deck? Like, I know how to do Orzov Life Gain, but how do you do Mono Black Life Gain without the whole table hating you?" Seth, it's your turn. Oh, sorry. So, in uh. My new deck I'm building, which I'm still waiting for the cards, is the the Hippo Friends. Hmm. Uh, the deck is act. It, people are gonna assume, oh, it's just like group hug stuff, and I'm like, no, this is haymakers. I just have a bunch of big fatties, and I cheat them all into play with show and tell. You go, Sam. Oof. Um, untap, draw for turn. Uh, play a swamp. Um, black, green, play Lotlet Troll. I'm going to mill a Wargate off of the, yeah. the Swamp Entry swamp. in the battlefield. Altar of Dementia. Ooh, I all have one of those. Uh, play Lotlet Troll, so y'all will mill one again. I'm going to mill a Wamp. Grand Abolisher. True all Conviction. Right. Wamp. All right. Um, pass the turn. I have the Lotless Troll in regeneration mana. Don't fight me. The only thing that I now hate about Lotless Troll is the fact that it reads a creature card. Like. Oh, it's my turn. Blah. Like Lotless Troll, just let me discard Bridge from below, please. Um, let's see. Oh, I just now realized that the whole uh, Hogak hitting the graveyard is actually really bad for Bridge from Below. Or... No. Yeah. It's really good with Bridge from the Below. But it's uh, really bad with Bridge from Below with all of your commanders if they hit the graveyard. Uh, I'm going to cast Recruiter of the Guard. Ooh. Uh, I'm gonna get this Gogari thug. Also, ooh. Uh, for no particular reason, how many cards in hand? Six. Five. Six. All right. Uh, I'm gonna cast Whispering Madness. What's that do? Uh, it's a windfall. Uh, in response, I will discard with Lotlet Troll a uh, Graveshell Scarab, which has Dread. Is it equal to the person who had the most, or how many we had? The, the highest hand size, so it's going to be six for everyone. Uh, I will dread. I will discard one, and I will dredge Graveshell Scarab as my first, in case mm. uh, Ultra Dementia is in the graveyard as well. So, so I will dredge no one. one. 
I have a trading post, a Karm the Great Creator, and Kithkin Spelldustr. All awesome. same. Yeah, Four. Five. Uh, I'm going to be dredging my Gogari Tug that I just got. Because I just got him. He needs to stay there. All right. Um, I have first in hand. I, I flipped a Life from the Loam. So I'm going to dredge that as my second draw. And then four normal cards. Sweet. All right. Uh, I'm going to enter combat and attack Carter with Kenrick. Uh, does it? Did it cipher on? Uh, yes, it did. Okay. I'll take it. In response mm -hmm. uh, to the yeah. Oh wait, yeah. In response to the cipher trigger, you get to choose if you want to cast it. Yes. So I'm going to choose to cast it. I will discard the uh, Grey Shell Scarab again to the Lot Lift Troll. What's the highest? And then I will discard Glow Spore Shaman, Solemn, uh, Midnight Reaper, and Grim Horsebex. So it, four it's more. Another, it's another six uh, cards being drawn after you discard. Of a note for right. me, discarding Idyllic Tutor and Solemnity. I will spread. Devotion, a Chroma's Vengeance. And yeah. some other cards that don't really matter. I discarded a bunch of creatures: Glow Spore Shaman, Solemn, Midnight Reaper, Grim Horus Vex, and then I dredged the Graveshell Scarab and hit a Birds of Paradise. Uh, uh, so I'm gonna dredge these two again. Three, four, one, two, three. One, two, three. All right, I will pass the turn. F. Draw. I will play planes. Mm -hmm. I will tap two mana for a maze mind tome. I will pass the turn. Okay, one attack. Draw. Play a uh, swap. Kyoji's dredging more than I am, to be honest. I am! <laughs> As I make you feel. Not good. I mean, I have two cards that dredge seven, so. Yeah. Play a uh, Midnight Reaper. Comes in with a Vigilance counter because of tie him. Uh, 3 2, whenever a non token creature I control dies, it deals 1 damage to me and I draw a card. Uh, I'll pass. Alright. Uh, one second, I was. Yep, for chat. That's what Midnight Reaper does. Uh, in step, I will discard Grey Shell Scarab to Lotless Troll. It's a really big Lotless Troll. Um, untap, upkeep, draw, gra dredge Grave Shell Scarab. Golgari Germination in the graveyard. Um, play Exotic Orchard. Um, Y'all can mill one. Green, green, uh, Road of Return, choose return target permanent from my graveyard to the hand. Returning Altar of Dementia. Cast Altar That's of Dementia. That's not a problem. I would never do something like that in a dredge deck. <laughs> Road of Return would never be in a dredge deck. Y'all can mill one again from the altar. By the way, okay. Um, I have a uh, nine eight trampler, so oh, yeah, we'll pass the turn. <laughs> we got them blocks for days. 
Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cast Life from the Loam. I'm going to grab a Fable Passage, a Bazaar Baghdad, and an Island. Speaking of dredging harder than you, uh, I'm going to play the Bazaar Baghdad. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to pass. Uh, I have too many cards in hand. I'm going to discard Govari Thug. On your end step, I'm going to pay two mana and tap Maze Mind Tome, putting a page counter on it. You draw a card. I'm going to tap Power Conduit and remove the page counter to put a charge counter on it instead. So... Okay. Like, put the charge counter I on. see. So, wait. Does the charge counter matter on it? No. But it matters... Basically, this only exiles itself when it has page counters on it. I know. But I was wondering, like, why you're keeping track of the charge counters on it. But, like, I guess it's semi relevant Because oh, there's some cards that matter about the number of counters you remove from something. Okay, fair enough. So I'm keeping track in case someone has one of those cards, like Thief of Blood or something like that. I don't know people's deck lists, so I'm keeping track just in case. Fair enough. Um... Thief of Blood is not a human. <laughs> I do not remember if it's in my deck, so... Um, my plans. I'm going to tap two for an arcane sickness. Um, I think I'm going to pass the turn. That's it. Draw. Play uh, Gavoni Township. Black and colorless. I'll play a Nyx Weaver. Enter with a Vigilance Counter. Uh, two three with reach at the beginning of my upkeep. The top two cards of my library go into my graveyard. And for one black green, I can exile this fighter to return target card from my graveyard to my hand. Yeah, I run that card too. And I'll pass. All right, uh, untap, upkeep, discard, grave shell, scarab, telotlith troll. Uh, go to draw, dredge one, carry in feeder in the graveyard. Play a reliquary tower, everyone mill one. Dose in the fall. Go for boots. Down of hope. All right, five mana cast Grave Shell Scarab. So we're milling again? Yeah, everyone mill one. Unpredict territory. That's Oasis. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, hit the birds, two, and tap two, um, cast my commander. I think we can do a loop, but I don't know, because I know I have the, uh, I have bridge from below, so I know I can do like half the loop, but... I don't know if it actually does anything like exceptional here. So pass the turn. 
So the big problem here, chat, um, is with the setup I have is I can Hogak, sack Hogak, but the problem is I only get one token from Bridge from Below. Because have any of your creatures died? No. Mm -hmm. Graveyard from the battlefield specifically. Uh, then I have to exile uh, Bridge from Below. So, but that doesn't actually help me here. So like, I can make a single zombie and hope that I get enough to like, and hope something happens. And I just don't want to do that right now. Uh, I'm going to activate Bizarre Baghdad, uh, Dredge 7, and discard 3. Jesus, you're doing so much more than me. Agree. Hmm. It's because I have a creature that's Dredge 1, and that's it. Um, I'm going to use Kenrit's 5th ability to resurrect a creature. Uh, I'm going to get this Anarchist. Uh, when he enters the battlefield, I'm going to get a sorcery from my graveyard back to my hand. And I'm going to grab Patriarch's bid. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Oh, golly gee. Oh, it's like a combo or something, right? Oh, golly gee. Uh, on my upkeep, I'm going to activate the Tsar. And repeat this again. Seven. This seems gross. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, go to my draw step. I'm going to dredge four. Mm hmm. Because there's a patriarch spinning. Yeah. Patriarch's bidding does what exactly? It makes all of your creatures it, into something? It, or? No, no, no. Uh, we each name a creature type and resurrect all named creature types. Hmm? Oh, okay. So, like, if you name zombie, do I also get zombies, or do I have to name zombies? So, I would name human, Carter will name something, Seth will name something, you're going to name something, and all creature types that were named gets resurrected. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Got so, it. So, cool. um, you could say zombie. I'm going to say human. Carter's going to say, like, elemental. And Seth's going to name, like, brushwhack. So we resurrect all zombies, humans, elementals, and brushwhacks that are in our graveyards. Okay. But if that's, if that, okay, got it. Uh, I'm going to play this fable passage. Where'd my token pile go? Because I'm going to need that. Uh, I'm going to cast Patriarch's bidding. I'm going to respond. Right. Do I get to respond now or after everything's selected? Uh, uh, na you... Naming the creature type is the resolution of the right. spell. So I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna respond, activate Tyam, remove three counters from creatures to mill the top three, and then I get a permanent that costs uh, three or less from my graveyard back onto the battlefield. Nobody has any responses. Uh, I have a response. Okay. In that I want to sacrifice Lotlith Troll. To mill myself for 10. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So, Bulk and Wrath Noble, Golgari, Grave Troll is the relevant card. Zulaport, Cutthroat, the Astronaut's Altar, I guess, but. Um, yeah, and I make. He's zombie, by the way. Uh -huh. An M12 zombie, because they are best zombies. 
Uh, we're gonna have an argument about that. <laughs> All right, second best zombie is the M13 zombie. Uh, best zombie. Oh no, not even close. Not, have you seen, like, the M12 Best zombie? zombie. <laughs> M12 zombies are so good, though. I'm gonna do Diam Singh. Is that alright? Yeah, you can. But also, the OG Innistrad zombies. Looking for what to bring back. Yeah, but have you seen OG Innistrad zombie? I have. I used to draft them. <laughs> they are worth just drafting. I'll bring back uh, Rishkar. Who... Puts a counter on Tyam, Midnight Reaper, and has a Vigilance counter himself. Each creature with a counter, not a plus one, plus one counter, but a counter, uh, can tap for mana. Is that only on your side of a battlefield? Or yeah, your creatures I control. control. Yeah, yeah creatures it's Rishkar, like... right? Rishkar, Pima, Renegade? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh. Any more response? No, uh, not for me. Not for me. Not from me. All right, I'm gonna name human. I'm gonna name wall. Uh, <laughs> giant. I will name zombie. So all human walls, giants, and zombies get resurrected from your graveyards to the battlefield. Wait, did you have a creature die, Seth? No. I took no? off counters. Okay. Just making sure. So you said human wall some giants? Yeah. Yes. I don't think I have any giants, but I have a yeah, troll. All right. And I've got a bunch of stuff back now. Does anybody have anything uh, triggering? Uh, I do. Uh, I, I had a wall of moments, so I drew a card. Okay. I have altar of the brood triggers. Yep. Oh, does my draw go off before Altar of a Bird? Um, it's active, non-active. So I believe my triggers resolve first. Yeah. Yeah. The Sam will be the last one on the stack, so it'll resolve first. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, Sam, how many permanents entered your battlefield? Five. So we are all going to mill five. Yeah, so my triggers happen first, and I believe that's the only trigger I have. <laughs> oh, and now I get my giant. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And then it's Seth's trigger, and then Carter's triggers, and then Kyoji's triggers. So, so yeah. I got four ETB triggers, but... Things to note, I have a Magus of the Moon in play now. Uh, right. And I also have Josen the Fallen Leaf that says uh, players could only cast spells on their own turns. Okay. All right. Uh, Sun, Sun Titan came in with a counter. Oh, and... What? So the... Magus Moon, Dosen, and there's also a Notion Thief, so if someone else draws a card, I'm going to draw that card instead. Unless it's the first for return, though, right? Cor correct. So, so my wall still, I still get that card. Uh, you don't. No, you won't draw because th they're entering the battlefield at the same time. Your trigger goes on the. But it would uh, still be my first card of a turn. Uh, no, it's the first yeah. card you would draw during your. Hold turn. on. So, what if I replace my draws with dredges? It doesn't fucking matter, right? Correct. Got it. Woo. Or. Their, their replacement effect, you choose which one would uh, take yeah, it. Yeah, so I would I can dredge instead of draw. So Notion Thief only skips the first draw in your draw phase, like, of the person yes. drawing, the, so the, you are going to miss it, the it, omens. Okay. It, it take, so it's it wordy. Takes away, yeah. It if, doesn't take away the card for turn that, um, yeah. that you get defaulted per turn. Yeah. It's so if an opponent would it draw a card, away, it's all other cards except for your draw step card. Yes. Yes. Correct. 
Alright, uh, also when the Sun Titan comes in, I'm gonna bring back Spore Frog, which is gonna get a Vigilance counter from Titan. But that's all my triggers, so. And then my five mills were the Great Henge, Evolving Wilds, K Grip, Reflecting Pool, and Avenger of Zendikar. My Got it. So, five was Soul Ring, Giver of Ruins, Altar of Dementia, Cliffside Rescuer, and Sun Titan. Yeah. Oh. And so now, uh, so that Car it's Carter's triggers, right? After, so it's my mill five. Yeah. And then did. Seth's right. ADBs, which Seth did. Yep. And so it's Carter's EDB, which was draw a card, right? Card. But yeah. yeah. But but that and gets replaced with Notion Thief. Yeah, because they entered at the same time. So I'll. For that draw, uh, I'm going to dredge the light from Loam. All right. Cutthroat, Cavern, Windfall. Um, okay. And then it's Kyoji's ETBs. Uh, I have... Dire, Deep, Dire, uh, Dire Fleet Daredevil is going to exile an instant or sorcery from someone's graveyard. I've got Golgari Charm, Road to Return, and Overwhelming Stampede. I got Sajiri Shelter, Idyllic Tutor, uh, Chroma's Vengeance. I have Crossing Grip and Anguish I'm making. Uh, I'm gonna exile the, the Anguish I'm making. Okay. Uh, you get to uh, cast I'm, it? Uh, I may cast it this turn. Okay. Uh, and spin mana. I'm gonna make three red with Priest of Erebras. I'm in uh, Spellseek and Imperial Recruiter. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Spellseeker's gonna grab Priest of Gifts. Oh god, I don't have any good spells to grab now. What? What's grabbing uh, the I'll... Priest? Um, or Imperial Recruiter. Oh, okay. Uh, Spellseeker is going to grab this Edge of Autumn because I've milled all my good cards. Okay, baby. Puppy dog. Alright. Alright, what can I do now? A ton. You have a board full of stuff. Yep. Um, I'm going to convert one of the red to black with the black, the bog initiate to cast the Priest of Gex to make three black mana. Okay. You can and spend mana as though it were mana you need to color to cast that Vindicate, in case you were wondering. Uh, you don't have to. Sure. Um, That's how that card works, right? I, I'm pretty sure I could win this turn, actually. Uh, I'm going to, with the three black, I'm going to cast Phyrexian Altar. In response, I will, in response, I will attempt to kill you. Um, mm. We will sacrifice Hogak to Altar of Dementia to mill me for eight. I have triggers, but first, um, we're going to let the Zulaport Cutthroat trigger resolve first, then the Grimhus Vortex and Midnight Reaper. In response to that, we will sacrifice Graveshell Scarab. So... Uh, to mill for four to Altar of Dementia. Um, which will once again have triggers. So, Zulaport Cutthroat resolves first here. So you all will lose one life, and I will gain one life. But it won't matter, because Midnight Reaper is going to tell me to lose a life and draw a card. Which I will replace with the Dredge from the Golgari Grave Troll to Dredge six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Um, then, moving to the next dredge, we will choose to dredge the, um, the Golgari Brown Scale for my draw from Grim Horror Specs. So, dredge two, uh, Seder Wayfinder Golgari Thug. Um, <laughs> this is where I said, so this will go to my graveyard. So the second set of triggers, the Hogak, and I will mill four. Bungle Sprouting, Dark Glass, Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, Grand Abolisher's in play. Uh, okay. Uh, activated abilities of artifacts, creatures, and enchantments can't be activated, and spells my opponent's control can't be activated. 
I forgot. There's a reason why I put this one in the deck too. All right. Um, well, then I will put those four back. And I will back that up to there. And and have just, I guess, like there's, I've milled a bunch down to what here. And this goes back in, that goes there. Like, boom, we're back to where we were. Yeah. You can, okay. you can keep going now. So with altar, I'm going to be able to sacrifice um, some number of these creatures. Uh, Sir Conrad will trigger to deal damage to uh, everyone when I do that. And I'll be do you have enough. Tent. Do you have enough to kill us? I'm going to sack enough to resurrect uh, anarchists to bring back uh, the patriarch's bidding. And then go through the the motions of looping. At anarchists. any point, are you going to sacrifice the uh, the dumb thing that doesn't let me do things? Uh, no. Because if you do, we're going to. I will win the game in response. Uh, no, this is going to stay in play. I have enough other idiots to sacrifice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't have any response. Uh, Carter, Seth. I'm tapped out. And Grand uh, no one out. has responses. Yeah. Is... yeah. No. If you had allow, if I had the ability to respond, um, my win cons are just like putting my whole graveyard into play and killing you with the Zulaport Cutthroat and the tokens I make and just casting uh, Hogak, looping Hogak. Is it just Zulaport Cutthroat that you have that deals the damage? On board, yes, but I have... Because um... I, yeah. I also have the Sir Conrad in play, so I... Uh, yeah, but I... Would I... Have... I would essentially yeah. um, draw parody, but I have Gaia's blessing to do it infinitely, so that would have killed the other two, and okay. then, and then from there, I mean, there's a way to win from there, probably. Yeah, I mean, I can make an infinitely, I can make a uh, infinitely large Golgari troll because I can sack and dredge infinite times, discard sack. Sack something, dredge it back, discard it to Lotlith Troll, and then do the Lotlith Troll and make an infinitely large Lotlith Troll, but I guess that doesn't do anything in response. Um, mill my whole deck multiple times. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'd mill you out with Altar of the Breed. And then I could force you to draw a card on my Midnight Reaper if I had the ability to um, to do that. Midnight That's how I would win the game. Yeah, um, because you had uh, access to the Notion Thief. Um, if oh, I was looping yes. Ogak, I would not. I would. I would not draw the cards off these and just leave these on the stack, or I couldn't leave them on the stack. Uh, I would draw the cards with these, but I would dredge instead and continue looping the dredges um, with these. But with Ultra the Brood, looping Hogak mills you out. So if I had the ability to uh, resolve. I can loop Hogak infinitely, and then draw, and then once I've got it to the point where your library is empty, I force you to draw with Midnight Reaper. Uh, I did have the the um, the anguish I'm making off of the Dire Feet. Uh, uh, I just do it because it's at instant speed. I would just do it in response. Yeah. I anyway. guess. Well, I guess Hogak you can't cast at instant speed, so you can't technically loop Hogak. But I think you can, I could probably have sacked enough creatures and made tokens and stuff to done dumb stuff, but not loop Hogak. Hmm. I could have done Whoa. some dirty trenches. That was a game. That was a fast one too. Um, do y'all want to do another one or are we good for tonight? Um, Cause I was- play another one. Yeah, that was an exceptionally fast game. All right.